The safety, welfare and well-being of children and young people are important to the New South Wales Government. Which is why, in a national first, they passed legislation to set up the Office of the Advocate for Children and Young People and included provisions to develop in consultation with the Minister Responsible for Youth, John Ajaka. A three-year whole-of-government strategic plan for children and young people. This kick-started an elaborate and collaborative process where Andrew Johnson, the newly appointed advocate for children and young people, listened to more than 4,000 children and young people from diverse backgrounds and life experiences from all corners of New South Wales, so that they themselves set the themes and directions of the plan. We'd like to be treated without such low expectations. When you're giving your opinion or your idea, even if it's um, better than, say, a 20-year-old or you feel as if it really is right, you still don't have that equality. People should be treated fairly, with respect. They should be treated as equals. They should be trusted. They should be treated with courtesy. This is the first instance that we've ever had a say in what's been happening to us. We would want to be treated with respect. We would like to be treated fairly. We would like to have a lot of honesty come towards us. How does it make you feel when adults listen to you, when they listen to your ideas? Happy. In collaboration with local and state government departments, including an interdepartmental advisory group, on government organisations and civil society who work with, by and on behalf of children and young people on a daily basis. A large cross-section of New South Wales was able to be included in the development of the plan. The plan integrates with the Premier's priorities and enacts its goals of tackling childhood obesity, improving education results, reducing youth homelessness, creating jobs, improving service levels in hospitals, reducing domestic violence and improving government services, to name a few. All of this collaborative work led the plan to be focused on six key areas. They are safe, connect, respect, opportunity, well-being, and voice. The objective of SAFE is that children and young people are free from abuse, neglect, violence, and serious injury. Like all six themes of the plan, SAFE outlines what the government is doing and will do, and five indicators to measure success. The objective of CONNECT is that children and young people have a sense of belonging and connectedness with people and place on and offline. The objective of RESPECT is that children and young people are treated with respect, demonstrated by supporting and valuing their strengths, diversity and potential. The objective of Opportunity is that children and young people have relevant skills for life, including technical and vocational skills for employment, decent jobs and entrepreneurship. The objective of Wellbeing is that children and young people are healthy and well through the provision of affordable, accessible and timely services. The final theme is Voice. The objective of VOICE is that children and young people are empowered to be involved in the decisions that affect them. The guiding principles will help focus the activity that will be subject to monitoring, evaluation and learning. Children and young people survey pools and polling will be set up so that the plan's progress can be discussed and assessed by children and young people themselves. There will be mid-plan and end-of-plan reports, regular regional meetings, forums and conferences, plus guides and checklists to support the learning and collation of research. Findings will be used to create best practice examples to assist and engage with children and young people. All of this is only a fragment of what's contained in the full plan. Read it to learn more about how we can all play our role in enabling children and young people to be safe, be connected, be respected, have access to opportunities, better well-being, and have a voice. We have listened. We have heard. Now we are responsible. That's the plan.